Bismillah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Innalhamdulillah. Namaduhu wa nasa'inuhu wa nasta'firu. Wa na'udzu billahi min syarri anfusina wa min sayyi'ati a'malina. Man yahdihillahu fala mudilla lahu wa man yudlil fala hadiyalah. Asyhadu an la ilaha illallah wa anna Muhammadan wa asyhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu. La nabiyya ba'da wa ma So, hi guys. My name is Siti Yasmin Jannah Mayora. You can call me Yasmin and I'm from Mindre. So this time I will give you a uh, Islamic speech about the dangers of shirk. So, before that, um, where do I usually get this knowledge from? I got knowledge about shirk. I got it from the website www.myso.com and if you want to get Islamic knowledge in the Quran to be sahih, you can visit the website www.myso.com or www.myso.id, okay? So, before I, I explain, um, what is shirik? Shirik is equating other than Allah uh, with Allah in matters that are his privilege, such as worship, creating, managing, benefiting, honing, making sharia with the others. Lives and something that only Allah can do uh, can be done by someone or some, something else. Therefore, if shirik is done by acts implicitly, uh, worshiping anyone or anything other than Allah, it is called greater shirik. Uh, or even if, if it is done by believing something or someone uh, can do things which only Allah can do. Uh, but my mom said uh, that there is no God other than Allah. Then, uh, this type of shirik called council shirik or leisure shirik. Allah refers himself to be the provider in the Quran. He is the one who uh, bestows all types of benefit on us for us to survive and stay alive. If someone believes that someone or something else is supplying uh, him this, this blessings, uh, for example, if he believes the money, uh, his boss, his account, Acquaintance or lah or or his family members are supplying them uh, the blessings or anything. Uh, then this bliss is known as shirik. There are several types of shirik in the act of ibadah or worship. Islam forbids the worship of humans, animals, and idols. Sadly, uh, <gasps> There are several types of shirik in the act of Ida, ibadah or worship. Islam forbids the worship of humans, animals, and idols. Uh, some 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 Muslims worship saints or basic tongues, basic existence. Uh, they do talk around the grace and offer sacrifices in the in the name of the deceased. Shirik all. Ibadah consisted of two points. And then, what the difference of minor shirik and major shirik? So, a small shirik keeps the culprit from leaving Islam and eternally in hell. So, and major shirik uh, makes perpetrator leave Islam and eternally in hell. The question refers to Allah's statement. So if you own Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam are in doubt concerning that which we have revealed unto you, uh, then your name is written in the Torah and the angel. Uh, then as those who are reading the book, uh, the Torah Torah and the angel gospel before you, the ayah lends them no support. For the conditional sentence uh, does not necessitate uh, the true existence of the condition. Thus, the result clause may be conditional upon an impossible condition. For example, Allah state, uh, and that was a powerful, uh, which the gave Ibrahim against his people. We were whom we will in the Greece. Certainly, your Lord is all wise, all knowing. After his statement, this is the guidance of Allah with which the guides who suffer he was of his leave. But if they had joined in worship other than Allah, all that they used to do would have been of no benefit up to them. Thus, Allah informs us that the Prophet associated as a shirk was worship to Allah, an impossible condition. Other good things would have been written to him. They all died as Muslims and were infallible. Uh, it is due to their infallibility that uh, Allah state, and in that it has been revealed to you, O Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as it was to Allah, Allah's messenger, before you. If you join 
other and worship with Allah, then surely all your death your deeds will be in vain, and it will certainly be among the losers. Nay, that worship Allah alone and none else, and be among the grateful. The Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam never had any doubt or asked any the of the people of the scripture, uh, for they understood that the underlying message people does not re- re- require the the question not part no three page no uh, three hundred forty nine. Eliminate any doubts. Uh, but to confirm that if the disbelievers turn deep to your call, the people of the scripture should have evidence in support of your mission. Uh, as Allah state, say, salvation as witness between me and you is Allah. Uh, and thus, two who have knowledge of the scripture, such as Abdullah bin Salam and other Jews, are the Christians who embrace Islam. Allah also state, uh, say, tell me, if the Quran if from Allah and you deny it, uh, and a witness from among the children of Israel, Abdullah bin Salam from Allah and you deny it, uh, with a witness from among the children of Israel, Abdullah bin Salam uh, radiallahu anha, uh, testifies that this Quran is from Allah like the Torah, and he believed and embraced Islam. Well, you are too proud to believe, thoroughly. Allah guides not the people who are zalimun or polycities, believers, and wrongdoers. Um, also, Allah state, Is it not a sign to them at the learned scholars, like Abdullah bin Salam or the Allah, who embraced Islam? Of the children of Israel knew it as true, and that uh, there are so many ayahs indicating that the textual evidence with the people of the scripture in support of the mission to. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam against the obstinate disbelievers who rejected the call to the oneness of Allah and the fact that all messengers sent to humans uh, were humans. What is Allah's wise? We as state in the opening of Surah Yunus, it is a wonder for making that we have sent our revelation to, to a man from among themselves. Uh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, one making of the coming sermon in hell and give good news to those who believe in the oneness of Allah and in his prophet Muhammad uh, that they shall have with their Lord uh, the rewards of their good deeds understanding the above uh, exegesis of the reform ayahs uh, so other similar ayahs giving details and this is an explanation to each other than suppress Specify are the meaning of the mustashabihad or smell and depending for or Quranic verses. Uh, open to more than one interpretation or uh, whose meaning is known only to Allah. So that's all from me. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.